Hey everyone, I'm Danny and welcome to M Magic. So if you are out of the loop in this whole situation, welcome to the loop. I'm gonna explain everything to you right now. Um, basically, uh, after a few emails back and forth with Warner Brothers and even a phone call with one of their uh, representatives in the intellectual properties department, um, I do have to make some changes here. So basically, um, the main change is going to be my channel name. I can no longer use the name Muggle Magic for my channel, and that's because it uses the word Muggle, which is a trademark of Warner Brothers. But it is unfortunate that I've had this channel name for the past few years and I have to I have to rebrand basically, and that's that's going to be difficult. So um, the channel name is going to change. Uh, my Etsy store name has to change because it also is Muggle Magic, and my website uh, MuggleMagic.net I can no longer use because it has Muggle in the title. So all three of these things I have to change, and I have to do it very soon. I took to Patreon to get some help rebranding, finding a good name for the channel. We went through so many different uh, names and titles. So thank you to my patrons for putting up with the tons of polls and things that I was doing to try and figure out this and actually joining in the conversation and helping me figure out the best way to rebrand this and, and keep it fun and cool. So yeah, you guys are great. My freelance graphic design um, company it's, I'm the only one in it, but I, I guess I can call it a company. But my freelance graphic design, I call uh, Diabolic Design. So that was one of the possible um, titles, new channel titles that I was thinking of. Maybe I could just tie it in with all that. But it, it kind of, a lot of people kind of mentioned that it didn't really remind them of Harry Potter. So if they saw that scrolling through, they wouldn't think this channel has something to do with Harry Potter. Also, you gotta take into consideration what it sounds like in the intro, because I'm gonna be saying this every single time I make a video. And hey, everyone, I'm Danny. Welcome to Diabolic Design. It doesn't really have that ring to it that Muggle Magic has. Welcome to Muggle Magic, sounds pretty good. Welcome to Diabolic Design seems a little, uh, I don't know, n not bad, but it just doesn't have the ring to it that, that I'm after and that we were after in, on Patreon. I mean, there were tons of, of different titles that we kind of went through. Welcome to Making Magic. Welcome to No Wand Necessary. Welcome to Mischief Magic. Welcome to Wizardcraft. Craftomancy. Craftology. McMurray Magic. Magical Mischief. Welcome to Maker Magic. Wicked Workshop. Diabolic DIY. Welcome to Novel Oddities. But in the end, none of those really, I mean, a lot of them did sound Harry Potter-ish. I really did like uh, Magical Mischief. That was actually, there were two runners up. Magical Mischief was like the one that was pretty, almost going to be what this is. However, I looked it up, there's already a Magical Mischief channel. So I didn't want to do anything that would step on anyone's toes. I wanted a, a channel name that hasn't actually been used before. So. This is going to be my new intro. Welcome to my workshop of wizardry. So the new channel name is The Wizardry Workshop, and I think that really does convey that this is a DIY channel, it's a workshop, we're gonna be making things, and then also wizardry is, the word wizardry is obviously um, linked to Harry Potter because, you know, school of witchcraft and wizardry, and, and yeah, so it really just made sense to do it that way. I like the two W's, it's almost like muggle magic with the M's flipped upside down, so it's two W's instead of two M's. I, I really did think that this was the best choice for the channel. So from now on, my channel name will be the Wizardry Workshop. Let me know what you guys think about the, the new title change in the comment section below. Unfortunately, I can't keep Muggle Magic and I hope that doesn't confuse too many people. All the content is gonna stay the same. I'm still gonna do Harry Potter DIY, still gonna do e everything. It's gonna look exactly the same. The only change is the title. Now on top of that, there was one other change that I have to make and I do need to talk about it just very briefly. Uh, Patreon, I can't put my high res uh, Harry Potter replicas on Patreon. So if it's something that's a replica from the movie, something that Warner Brothers has direct uh, trademarks and copyrights on, I really can't put that on Patreon. So, I mean, they told me that I could continue to provide my replica templates for free. 
I just can't charge for him. So from here on out, we're going back to the beginning and everything uh, Harry Potter replica related is just gonna be free to download. However, don't sell it because if that starts happening again, I, get, I have a feeling that I'm going to uh, get another uh, correspondence from Warner Brothers and I might have to stop Harry Potter replicas altogether and I don't wanna do that. I would really love to just give them out for free to everybody who loves Harry Potter. That was the original idea. I just want people to be honest about it and not sell my uh, hard work. People are saying I don't really have an argument there about saying I don't want people to sell the designs that I make because they're a copy from something that was in the movie anyways. So really it should be Warner Brothers. And you're absolutely right uh, to an extent. Um, I, did, I do spend weeks upon weeks of work on each and every single replica that I make, hours and hours a day. Uh, designing it from the ground up. That's right, I start from scratch, a blank white page. I find images uh, from the Warner Brothers Studio Tour, from screenshots, from uh, actual movie prop, re uh, not replicas, actual movie props and stuff that I have just find as many images that I can online of the, the uh, item that I want to make a replica of. And I painstakingly go through, even if it's a low res image, and I recreate everything line by line and word by word, letter by letter. So. Um, that's a lot of work. So yes, it does upset me when people sell it when I ask them not to. If I hadn't asked people not to and I hadn't made it abundantly clear that I don't want people to sell this stuff because I don't want to get in trouble, then yes, I would not be upset about it because you know what? I didn't say not to sell it. But the, the thing that really bothers me is that I have made it abundantly clear. It's on every single template. This is not for commercial use. Please don't sell it. I've said it on my channel tons of times, um, and people continue to do it. Um, quite a few people in the beginning did do it, and that's how I got in trouble in the very beginning. So anyways, I'm sorry about that little rant. I just want to get my point across. So let's all just get into that state of mind. This isn't for sale, it's for fun. There have been so many people who have kind of scoffed at the fact that I was upset that people were selling my replicas. Well, I hope that after that little uh, information rant right there. I hope that you understand why. So anyways, yeah, everything's going to be available for free again, except for second change that's very important. My original designs that are not from any type of replicas or anything, my original artwork, that is no longer going to be free. So this, the pocketbook of spells, herbology, my magical ID, along with just various other things that I've done that really is a compliment to the wizarding world, but it doesn't actually it like step on anybody's copyrights or trademarks or anything. It's my own original stuff. So that stuff is only gonna be available on Patreon from now on. Also, I will be selling the templates on Etsy. On Patreon, the tiers are gonna be for my original designs. The tiers are gonna stay the same, only instead of it being the Harry Potter stuff, it's going to be my original stuff, my, my practical pocket book of spells, of herbology, of uh, palm, palmistry of potions of you know all the pocketbooks that I do they're going to be there on Patreon um, you can't sell them again even though you're, you're paying for access to the templates it's still for personal use same thing on uh, Etsy if you don't want to join my Patreon to get these you can buy them individual on Etsy but you are still not allowed to sell them because the, this is my work and I'm deciding that I don't want people to sell it if you do want a license to sell my work. We can talk about that. You can email me. My email is going to stay the same, danny at mugglemagic.net. I will get your emails if you email me there. So like I said on Patreon, I'm going to be sort of leaning more into my original designs. Now, not I don't I'm going to kind of try and do more of those two on my YouTube channel. Not I'm completely original stuff, but I'm going to be doing my Harry Potter d replicas and stuff just like normal a, a few 2 to 3 a month, but I also would like to do one or two original designs per month too, so that I can keep things going on Patreon, keep people uh, interested in it and everything. Obviously, that's what I want to do. But, you know, I just don't want it to be like one post a month here and there. So, yeah, I'm going to try and do more of my original stuff. I'm still going to be doing Harry Potter replicas though. And on top of that, on Patreon, I do have like a ton of ideas for like sort of my own little original world that could work with Harry Potter but it doesn't rip off any of the stuff that Harry Potter is. It doesn't, um, I'm, like I'm gonna have my own characters, my own sort of storyline that 
could tie into Harry Potter if it wanted to, but it never actually does. So, yeah, that way it's, it's uh, kind of more exciting to join Patreon because you're going to be a part of that new world, that new magical world that I'm building. I will be posting um, character names and profiles and stuff, little tiny snippets about these characters on Patreon. I'll also be sort of like going over different locations and I already have my own kind of magical school that I'm going to talk about on Patreon. This is all going to be stuff that ties in to the Practical Bucket Book of Spells and the Herbology book and all the original things that I do are going to tie back to this original world that I'm creating. So if that's something that you're like curious about, check out Patreon. That's where I'm going to be doing all of this. I think that's just going to be a lot of fun and I'm really excited to see uh, how you guys react to it and, and how it goes and where it goes from here. I've sort of been planning something similar to this for the past maybe five to six years and I'm just now able to do it. I, originally I wanted to write a book and I had all these characters and ideas. I had like a main villain and a storyline and protagonists and uh, I was going I was literally going through and I was almost ready to start writing my first draft and then I just thought about how much work it is to write a novel and I just didn't do it but I have enough content to write like a, a six book series probably but I'm not gonna do that at least not right now because I just don't have time to sit down and write so anyways I'm going to be taking little bits and pieces from what I already have developed and and kind of working it in to my original stuff. So anyways, sorry, that was a bit of another little uh, rant that I didn't need to go on, but I, I'm excited about it. And I want to know what you guys think about it too. So let me know in the comments if that's something that you are interested in. So you might be wondering, when are all these changes going to take effect? Like now, I, I need to do it now. Um, uh, the representative from Warner Bros. Brothers who I spoke with on the phone told me like three days to a week tops and that was four days ago. So it took me a while to figure out what I'm going to rebrand as Workshop of Wizardry or Wizardry Workshop. Um, either one will work but now that I know I've got to do this quick so within the next couple of days from posting this video you're probably gonna see my channel name change and you're probably gonna see everything else sort of rebrand to that and you will see the name Muggle Magic on my Instagram. I'll keep Muggle Magic DIY, um, Twitter, Facebook. I'll, I'll keep Muggle Magic DIY for those. Um, at some point, if they ask me to, I might switch over to Wizardry Workshop. Um, my URLs are going to stay the same. So if you go to youtube.com slash Muggle Magic, you're still going to find my content. It's just going to be rebranded as Wizardry Workshop. Anyways, that's it. I hope you guys enjoy the new intro. And I hope that this becomes the, I hope that this is the beginning of something exciting. Now you are all in the loop. Everybody knows what's going on. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about this whole situation. I think it could have gone way worse. And the fact that all I really need to do is rebrand and change the name of, of some things is really great. The guy I talked to from Warner Brothers is a wonderful person. He, he was great to talk to on the phone. Very, very nice, very laid back. Um, and it was a great experience talking to Warner Brothers about that, actually. Um, we talked about some other things as well. Anyways, yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And Warner Brothers is not at fault here. I am. I, I'm the one who used Muggle in my title. I'm the one who chose to move my templates to Patreon and all of that. So please do not uh, take to the comments or, or, or social media or anything and, and blast Warner Brothers for anything because this they're totally in the their legal rights to do this and I think that maybe even rebranding and doing something of my own wizardry workshop could actually help the channel grow a bit bigger and I think it's a good thing going into the future and I'm going to have my own channel name that is separate from anything that Warner Brothers owns but it's probably a smart decision anyways the Hufflepuff Queen did this as well she's no longer the Hufflepuff Queen she was in the beginning and when her uh, YouTube channel started getting some tra a good amount of followers a lot of traction and stuff she decided to rebrand to avoid what's happening to me right now it's working out great for her hopefully we can do the same thing here um, please do spread the word though uh, if, if you have friends who are who know of my channel and if you know if you just want to post about it on Instagram or on on Facebook Twitter anywhere you can just to let people know that muggle magic didn't go away it's just 
under a new name. I'm gonna do everything I can to kind of get the word out there, but it would really help if you guys could sort of jump in and, and help me spread the word as well. So that would be awesome. Anyways, yeah, this video has gone on for way too long. I wanted it to be really quick. So let me know in the comment section below what you think. Um, what do you think of the new title? Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching this and I will see you in the next one.